There we go. What's up guys, Johnny here from Team Ohio, Infinite Hunt Outdoors. Gonna do a little pond stomping today. Condition update, it's March 16th. There's been about, I don't know, five of the last 12 days have been in the 50s or 60s, or in the 60s, uh, high, low 60s. Uh, but it's really, really windy today. So, I'm gonna go to a pond since I can't get out on any bigger waters uh, because of the wind. I mean, it is really ripping right now. Hopefully when I get to the pond, it'll calm down a little bit because it'll be even difficult on the bank. Um, I'm gonna throw an A-rig in a farm pond just because, hey, let's cheat, right? People say forward-facing sonar is cheating. I can't afford it, so we'll cheat a different way. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'm also gonna throw some Hendrix fishing, some custom painted baits I got, jerk baits and um, a big glide bait, a Berkeley coal shad, and, um, and a chatter bomb, a red chatter bomb, uh, the, the Bass Pro uh, licensed version of the new Elite Evo chatter bait, basically. So, hopefully, with some of these bigger baits, the glide bait, the coal shad, some things uh, that I'm throwing, I uh, catch some bigger fish, and hopefully, you guys will get to see a little more of the. Uh, the review, the on the water type review I'm gonna do of the Luz Elite TI, $500 Luz reel with the new Paramag braking system. The little bit of um, tossing around I've done with it, the braking system was good. I could skip without using my thumb at all. And um, I also could cast certain baits without using my thumb. So we'll see how it does. I should be at the pond in about a few minutes later. You know, it might be this color might be a bit loud for this watercolor. Try one more cast a little deeper. Then we'll move on. There we go. <laughs> Had to really slow it down, but he came and got it. Well, it's not just big bass that will eat this thing. This guy got a face full of hooks too. And he's not very big, so. It's a good sign though. I was about to move on. Really saw him eat it more than I felt him, but we'll see what else we can get a hold of. Guys, guys I just sung a four pounder up on this bank. Sung him right there, and he flew back in. You can see where I sung my glide bait up there. <laughs> I was like, is there a fish on there? Because it was, I kept seeing its body glare. Oh, that stinks because I had him. Should have slung him harder. Oh well. First cast with the jerk bait. Should have picked it up sooner. We got one. Oh, we got two. Ah, oh, it's a double. <laughs> My first ever double. Look, look at that. Picked up his jerk bait right away got two as soon as it hit. Well, if it's any wonder what I should be throwing in this high wind, it's definitely a jerk bait. A little guy and a decent fish. here. I know how. It's the old needle nose. No wonder they wouldn't jump. They weighted against each other. This guy sewed up really good. Ooh, those hooks are sharp. 
this medium light loose custom light rod is great at digging those hooks in and not letting them go that soft rod these things could have fought forever oh no don't shake don't shake don't shake all right he can go their bodies still feel very cold he was sewed up couldn't even jump decent little fish see ya that again. or at least catch another one first few pops we had or had two I should say there we go another one little guy Ooh, he's pretty really prevalent spots this jerk bait I bought it second hand it's got some Japanese mars markings STX on it and great hooks maybe I can get away with casting into that wind a little bit there we go working this jerk bait backwards there we go. Right at the bank. See if he'll release himself, but he's not going to. I don't know how many that is, but... good lesson in throwing the right lures there's a uh, three guys fishing this same place which is private but I guess a lot of people have permission um, three guys fishing the same place and uh, I think I'm definitely catching more one was location wise I had the point of the pond where the wind was all blowing to in these high winds and I also had on a jerk bait, which they really seem to love. But I'm going to try a few other techniques just for the sake of building confidence with them and uh, see how we do. Final recap for the day. Not bad. Um, biggest fish of the day, four pounder, flipped up on the bank and it flopped off uh, right before I was hitting record. 
Um, you can probably say, yeah, he's lying, sure. But if I was going to lie about it, I'd say he's a lot bigger than four pounds. Um, and uh, the Hendrix slide bait is what that came on. That bait had great action, beautiful painting. Um, but uh, obviously, the big bite was on the jerk bait, the big uh, numbers bite, I should say. We got out there. We really, uh, I just got in one spot where the wind was pinning everything against the bank and it was super super windy as you, as you saw um but the jerk bait was the ticket got my first ever double been fishing a long time never had that happen uh, on the first cast with the jerk bait and continuing to follow up and uh put it on them with it so overall pretty fun day probably seven eight bass and a short little pond trip and uh one good one so pretty fun in early season pick up a jerk bait and uh, try to cast as much as you can with the wind at your back and as always we appreciate you watching subscribe to the channel like and comment of course uh, but we'd love your subscription to come back and uh, watch us get on the water and catch some more bass this year got big things ahead got my spot lock getting installed on my um, kayak right now so uh, we should be uh, very very well tooled to get on some big bass this year and a lot of bass so um continue following us here watching us scout for deer maybe shoot some turkeys catching bass and uh this fall we'll be back in the deer woods so stick it right here on infinite hunt outdoors like and subscribe thanks so much